I could really use a shower. That was quite the workout. <laughs> I think I outdid myself back there. Really made some gains. Uh, I just thought, the hot water's probably out again, isn't it? God, this school sucks. But it's whatever. Time to go home now anyway. I suppose I can just have one when I get back. Hmm. Why didn't I put my spray? Oh, it's gotta be in here some uh, Hello? Hello? <laughs> Is there somebody back there? Hmm. It must just have been my imagination. Could have swore I heard a footstep though. Oh, whatever. Okay, spray, spray. Ah, there it is. Ah, oh, that's better. Nothing like a chemical shower when you can't have a real shower. <laughs> it's, uh, what the? Ugh. I knew that wasn't my imagination. What the hell are you doing? You were cleaning? You were in detention? What kind of a detention has you cleaning the boys' locker room? Second of all, why the hell do we get detentions anyway? I mean, we're both adults. <laughs> I mean, sure, we're at school, but it's like... Like, I mean, I feel like when you pass the age of 18, you should, like, not have to have detentions, you know? But anyway, that's total bullshit. I've never heard of a detention that requires you to clean the boys' locker room. You were snooping on me, weren't you? Oh, yes you were, you little creep. You wouldn't be the first, so I don't hold it against you. But still, it's very inappropriate. So if you wouldn't mind pissing off, that'd be great. Arrogant? I'm arrogant. <laughs> you're the one who's watching me get changed. So, before I tell someone that you're a massive creep, how about you get lost? Not everyone thinks I'm hot. <laughs> Are you mad at me for assuming that I'm popular? Because I am popular. And you know that as well as I do. And, you know, you're probably quite right. Not everybody thinks I'm hot. I mean, after all, not everybody's into guys, am they? But for the ones that are into guys, they definitely think I'm hot. Because you're one of them. Oh, I know the way you feel about me. I know that you told one of my best friends that you had a huge crush on me. I know a lot of things. I might look like an idiot. I might act like an idiot. But my ears always listen. And my eyes are always open. And though you might think I'm an arrogant, air-headed fool, I pay attention, sweetheart. So... Don't blame me when I come to the conclusion that you're spying on me. You really was cleaning. You really are in detention. See, now, that's another thing that's really confusing. Why would you be in detention? You've always been so well behaved and such a... good little student. You've never done anything wrong to anybody. You're a lot like me, actually. A role model. Except, I'm a role model in sports. And you're a role model in being, well, a geek. <laughs> Not that I don't think that's cool. I wish I was as smart as you. But anyway, why are you in detention? Arguing with the gym teacher. Yeah, you never really had much of an aptitude for sports, did you? <laughs> What were you arguing with him about? Really? Well, that's understandable, and you do make a damn good point, and that's probably why he put you in detention, because you made a damn good point. Teachers really, really dislike being spoken down to, especially by a student. So, 
Yeah, this is most likely revenge. But it's still very difficult to believe that this is real. That you're not just some creep trying to watch me change. Oh, okay, very clever. That does say report to detention at this specific time. And it does say you'll be cleaning. <laughs> All right, then. I believe you. You've got evidence right there. You wasn't snooping on me. I'm sorry for being so presumptuous. It's just I heard you had a crush on me, so naturally I assumed the worst. You don't have a crush on me. It's okay if you do. I mean, why wouldn't you? Look at me. I'm perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. No, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, are they? But if you do have a crush on me, it's cool. That's all I'm saying. In fact, I find it very flattering. What? Why, why would that even matter? Look, at the end of the day, love is blind, all right? If you have a crush on me, then that doesn't mean in any sense of the word that I can't have a crush on you back. Just because we're not part of the same clique, just because you're not popular like me, just because you don't do sports like I do, and just because I'm not as smart as you, doesn't mean that we can't, you know, fall in love. <laughs> so, don't say that, all right? But it's not true. There's no such thing as leagues, okay? I'm not out of your league. What, well, are you really... Wait, so... Let's say, because you won't admit it, let's say, hypothetically, you do have a crush on me. Would you not act on that crush? Would you not try and, you know, talk to me and get to know me because you think I'm out of your league? Because you think I'm too popular? Really? That's ridiculous. <laughs> what? Isn't the whole point of life trying to achieve more than you're worth? Isn't the whole point of life to do the best you can do and chase what you want most? I'm pretty sure the vast majority of movie stars didn't think that they were worth some of the roles that they got. I mean, just look at, like, Jim Carrey... You know, Leonardo DiCaprio, Oprah Winfrey. Those people started off like skint. They had nothing. But they kept chasing their dreams. They was never meant to be as famous as they were. But they still went for it anyway. And they still got it. Which is proof that just because something is out of your league, just because something is very far above your station... Doesn't mean you can't climb up there and get it. It's the same when it comes to love. Just because I'm rich, handsome, popular, it doesn't mean you can't at least try. Because who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll claw out of your league and you'll take what you really want. You see, the problem here is you don't value yourself. You think I'm worth more than you, which is why you don't want to act upon your crush. Which is very, very lame. Because value is entirely subjective. You see, sweetie, we're all the same decaying biological matter. We all go to the same place when we're done. No human is worth more than another. We're all the same. So, stop thinking you're not worth me and just try that was some incredible life advice <laughs> I bet you didn't expect that coming from me did you a big dumb jock you really didn't <laughs> well just remember it okay and for god's sake leave I'm trying to get changed <laughs> I better smell horrible. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, well, 
I suppose it's natural. <laughs> Thank you, anyway. I appreciate you. See, you're awesome. You're really cool. I actually really like you. You know, you're one of the few people that was willing to argue back at me. I've never had anyone call me arrogant before. Normally people are so sycophantic because of the family I'm from or because of my popularity. But you, you argued back at me. And you had a crush on me the whole time. That's crazy. I like that, you know. It's very intriguing. No, you are very intriguing to me. You see, the thing is, I can have anyone I want. I could take anyone I want. But it's very difficult for me to find someone like you. Someone who's real, you know? Someone who's not just a, another sycophantic bot telling me what I want to hear. Even the teachers are sycophantic towards me. Because they know how good I am at sports. And they know how good I make the school look. And that's just lame. That sucks. No, I want something real. I want somebody that listens to me. That argues with me. That tells me what they're really feeling. And I feel like that person could be you. So, why don't you do me a huge favour before you go. And act on that crush. You want to go on a date with me? <laughs> How easy was that? The answer is yes. I would love to go on a date with you. Now, you carry on. You've got a date to get ready for. Also, I'll tell the teachers you're done with your detention. Let's cut it short. You're busy tonight. Yeah, I will tell the teachers you're done. And yes, they will listen to me. If not... I'll tell them I'm done playing ball for them. Won't be difficult for me to find another school to play for. We'll see who wins that argument. I'm willing to bet a lot of money it'll be me. So you go get your things. Go get ready. We've got a date to go to. Oh, hell yeah. We're going on that date tonight. Why? Is that a problem? Life starts now, sweetheart. Take what you want now. <laughs> then it's a date and I'm very excited to see what you have in store for me okay then this has been very enlightening I'll see you soon take care sweetheart